Hi there. Today, guys, it's very, very good day. I'm very honored and privileged to give you directly the 41 tenets of Andrew Tate, directly from his website, cobratate.com. And without further ado, let's get into it. Tenet 1. I believe that men have the divine imperative to become as capable, powerful and competent as possible in this life. Number two, I reserve the human right to hold my own beliefs and practice them as I see fit and I allow all other people the same right to believe and act as they wish. Number three. I prefer loving, rewarding, consensual relationships with beautiful, positive, and virtuous women. Number four, I believe men and women are different and that each has their own unique and important strengths and abilities. Then at number five, I believe men have the sacred duty to protect and provide for the important people in their lives. Number six, I believe men have the sacred duty to protect the innocence and sanctity of their children and reserve the right and responsibility to raise their children as they see best to ensure their long-term happiness and success. Tenet number seven, I believe that men have the sacred duty to raise strong, capable, and honorable sons. Number eight, I believe that men have the sacred duty to raise kind, feminine, and virtuous daughters. Then at number nine, I utterly disapprove of violence within romantic and familial relationships. Number 10, I support good and honest governments and I will obey only their laws. Then at 11, I prefer to only conduct business dealings with trusted and vetted brothers. Twelve, I believe that a man has the sacred duty to hold true to his word and do exactly what he says he will do. Number thirteen, I believe that a man's life is difficult and he has the sacred duty to become strong and handle such difficulty. Number fourteen, I believe men are personally responsible for their actions and for the results they achieve in their lives. Then at 15, I believe in emotional control and the vital need to become disciplined and professional in all things. Number 16, I believe that men have the sacred duty to approach everything in life from a position of strength. 17. I believe that all men have the sacred duty to become men of upright and virtuous character and live above all possible reapproach. Number 18, I believe it is incumbent upon me to ruthlessly identify my own weaknesses and limitations and I eagerly work to overcome them and become more capable in all realms. Number 19, I seek to improve my personal freedom to think, act, and live true to my masculine imperative in all ways. 20. I believe each man has a sacred duty to mold his physical body into the strongest, more resilient, and most capable version of, its, of itself possible. 21. I believe that men have the sacred duty to rigorously train themselves both physically and mentally every day. 22. I believe that I have the sacred duty to only eat the highest quality foods possible to maintain my health, vitality and masculine virality. 23. I reserve the right to protect the sanctity of my bloodstream and make my own decisions about my medical care and procedures. Then at 24, I affirm the importance of endlessly improving my mental faculties through diligent work, study, and practice. 25, 
I believe in acquiring wealth and abundance in order to improve my life and do good for those I care about. Then at 26, I believe in the merits of healthy competition and constantly encourage all men to seek out competition to improve themselves. 27. I believe that masculine brotherhood is essential to men's mental health, happiness, and success, and I relentlessly encourage men to meet together, train together, and work together. 28. I maintain the trust of my brothers through reverent silence regarding our most sacred shared experiences. 29. I believe in honoring my ancestors and living in a way that would make them most proud of me today. 30. I reserve the right to administer difficult rites of passage for our young men to allow them to earn the rank of manhood. 31. I affirm the importance and need for travel and adventure as men. 32. I seek to help men overcome poor mental health through embracing hard work, physical improvements, and shared masculine brotherhood. 33. I reserve the right to make the best choices I can at the time to protect my self-respect and mental health. 34. I do good in the world and seek to help those less fortunate than myself. 35. I believe all men have the responsibility to lead and guide those they care for to greater health, prosperity, and happiness. 36. I choose to only interact with those who are respectful and civil in return for my own respect and civility. 37. I reserve the freedom to speak and refer to others as I believe is best and most truthful. 38. I reserve the right to choose my company and include only those whom I believe are best for my health, happiness, and success. 39. I believe I have an imperative to only spend my time in a way that I determine is beneficial, uplifting, and empowering to myself and others. 40. I choose to only allow myself to be influenced by those who I believe have my best interests in mind. 41. Each day I dedicate myself anew to create the greatest possible positive impact in the world and do the work necessary to achieve a greater masculine excellence across all realms of human endeavor. And that, my friends, are the Tate's 41 tenets. Go ahead, follow those tenets. And in the meantime, resist the slave mind. <laughs>